Hi guys, um, on this video I'm just going to show you how to adjust the boost compensator on my 4M40 2.8 NL Pajero. Uh, it's the same principle for most boost compensated pumps, uh, but this video is specific to the 4M40. So it should be good for possibly Triton and Delica also. Hope you enjoy it and hope it helps you out. Cheers. All right, now the intercooler's off. Um, plenty of access to it. So this is the boost compensator. Uh, we've got some adjustment there, which I'll speak about later. Uh, this is the pipe that the boost pressure comes down and there's a diaphragm in there. Um, so this top has to come off and this is the bit we're gonna mess with in here. Uh, four 10 mils to get that off. The ram is under spring tension, so when you get the last bolt out, it will start to rise up under spring tension. So don't be concerned by that. It only comes up so far, but just so you're aware, it's, it's sprung. Flip the top off, and there we have the diaphragm. Now, I've had this off previously because I was messing around with something, um, hence the diaphragm is up. But if that's not been touched for ages, that's going to be stuck in there, so you're just going to have to prise it up with your fingers. Now, you see there's a zero on there, right there. That is totally the wrong position. So looking at the side of the engine, the O wants to be over here, um, sort of around the three o'clock position. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate round to the six o'clock position, um, which is a quarter turn. Um, and at this stage, I want you, if you're doing this, to just turn it. So break the seal and turn it. I don't want you to pull it out, uh, and I'll show you why in a second. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this on camera um, but down there the reason we don't want to pull this completely out like it's okay right now although there we can see um, but if you press the accelerator there's a pin in there and because the accelerator has been depressed the pin is now out meaning we won't be able to get the diaphragm back in um, now if that is the case it's very easy to fix um, just get a screwdriver and just gently push the pin back and it should stay back enough to drop the diaphragm for the compensator back in there pin is now back in um, so I can drop it back down in there all right so a couple of adjustments that I'm not gonna mess with um, the only time I suggest you mess with these is if you've got access to a dyno and you're actually doing a proper tune on the car um, otherwise I'm not gonna mess with them so basically you've got this here um, which adjusts the depth of this pin now what that does is when this is sat in there it determines the height of this so obviously when you come on boost this moves down um, in its rest position it's sat hard up against this 
So that screw there uh, determines the height of this. Um, that's all preset the factory. It is adjustable and depending on how far you're going with the tuning, you can adjust it. Um, just on this DIY um, home tune that I'm doing, I'm not going to mess with that. Um, the other thing that's adjustable, so here's a spring that actually pushes the diaphragm up and down. Now the tension on that, obviously a spring tension is preset by the, the dimensions of the spring. Um, but this seat here is adjustable. So this star wheel, you can move that around to give more spring tension or less spring tension. Again, I'm not going to mess with that. Um, if I'd swap the turbo out for something different, I might play around with that. Because um, the spring tension obviously sets uh, the rate at which that falls. So a hard spring tension, that's not going to drop down until a decent amount of boost on there. A soft spring tension means with a little bit of boost it's going to drop in. Uh, again, I'm just going to leave that at the factory settings. I'm not going to mess with that. Alright, so let's just talk about how this thing works and why I'm adjusting it. Um, so basically the little pin that we talked about before, um, if you look closely you can see a mark on there. That's where the pin has been running up against this. If I just set the camera up. So what happens is when this is in the up position, the pin is here. As this comes on boost, that drops down, allows the pin to push out because of the ramp on there. Uh, in doing so, the more the pin comes out, the more fuel goes through the pump. Now there is another fuel adjustment on the pump, which is the main fuel screw. Adjusting the main fuel screw will give you more fuel from idle right up to governor. This here, basically all this is for is a transition between off boost and on boost. So we've got the pin sitting there while we're not on boost. As soon as boost comes on, this drops down, adjusts the fuel in. Um, and adding more fuel at this stage normally means that when we're coming on boost more fuel is going to be injected that helps to bring the turbo on boost quicker uh, takes away a bit of the lag uh, you just got to be careful that you don't overdo it and get to the point where it's just pluming black smoke and running rough which is what this car is doing now um, there's a long story behind why it's doing that but basically um, someone's messed with his car in the past and I'm just going through and, and fixing some stuff up. Um, now, what rotating it does is very hard to see on camera. But if you look at this bottom bit here, um, you can probably see if I rotate around that the ramp on one side is steeper than on the other side. So basically in the factory position, we're on quite a shallow ramp. Um, so fuel's added sort of very gradually. When we rotate it around to the more steep side, as soon as it comes on boost, it adds fuel at a, a higher rate um, because the ramp's a lot steeper. So what we're doing by rotating this around is actually creating that steeper ramp and making the fuel come on quicker. So we're not really adding more fuel as such. I mean, we are adding more fuel, uh, but we're making that fuel come on quicker. Um, hopefully that all makes sense to you. I do like to sort of waffle on a bit. Um, if you're unsure, just jump on Google, um, look up some diesel tuning. It'll explain a lot better than I can how these work. They've got some good diagrams as well, like graphs for fueling, uh, which show you how the fueling is adjusted. So I'll probably check that out. Um, I've looked at a few of them. Uh, there's some, I'll maybe put the link in the description. There's some on the Pajero page which are very in depth. Um, I've referred to them. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna pop this all back together in the factory position and then rotate 90, which is my desired position and see how we go from there. I wish I'd done a video before um, to show you how laggy it was. Um, but here's it coming on boost now, massive improvement. 
So second gear, 1500 RPM. Put my boot into it. And we're at full boost already. Before that would have taken a couple of seconds to actually work its way up to full boost. Um, only running stock boost by eight, nine PSI. Next job on this is gonna be a boost T so we can wind some more boost in. And then I'll have a mess with the main fuel screw and put some more fuel in. And I'll probably do another video for that, so watch this space. 